Hey guys, Patrick Harrison here from the Discraft Underground team. I'm really excited to talk to you about what mid-ranges Paul McBeth's going to be putting in his bag for 2019. But first, make sure you get that bell on. Hey guys, Happy New Year. Here we are at the start of a new year. And with that, obviously, we're all anticipating the announcement from Paul Macbeth and his next video of his Building the Bag series. So we're trying to get the little jump start on it this time. Instead of doing the video afterwards and talking about what he did, we're actually going to kind of try to predict some mid-ranges that he's going to have in his bag. Of course, you know this guy. This is Wes. He's going to be going through. We're going to give you a quick rundown on the discs. All the flight numbers and stuff are available on discraft.com if you do need to dig in a little bit more. So we're going to give you a yay or nay on if it's going to make Paul's bag and breeze through these. First up, we got the drone. Drone is a overstable mid-ranged. And uh, I'm also going to talk about the Buzz OS here simultaneously because for me, these are really one or the other. Pretty similar flight. The uh, drone has, you know, for me, a little bit smoother flight, a little bit more arcing fade uh, versus the, the flat top of the Buzz OS is basically a longer zone and is a little straighter to uh, kind of dumps a little bit or kind of that swing dump. Um, for me, I think the drone is going to make the bag. I think the Buzz OS is not going to make the bag. Pat? Okay, I think if we reverse that, spin it around, and you said, hey, I think the Buzz OS is going to make the bag, and the drone <laughs> is not, I think we would be on the same on the same path there. Because you talk about the zone and the consistency of the zone, why not be able to just to club up and get a little bit more distance with the same flight? Sure. So I'm yeah. saying yes to the Buzz OS, no to the drone. Do me a favor, hashtag below Buzz OS or hashtag drone. Let us know which one you guys think he's nice. going to throw. Settle this Settle this first disagreement for us. Help us out. Help us out. All right, next, next. up we got the Wasp, which is a you know, flat top mid-range, just a step up from the Buzz. This is a really tough one for me because I love the Wasp, and I know you love the Wasp. I love the Wasp. That, but... I think with the either the drone or the Buzz OS kind of filling that stable mid-range spot, uh, or Paul just throwing a, a stable buzz because he likes to keep it simple, I do not think the Wasp makes Paul McBeth's bag. I am going to agree with you here. And I'm going to say that the Wasp does not make his bag either. I think we're going to see him throw some of the more stable runs of the buzz and uh, really showcase what the buzz can do this season. Yeah. Speaking of the buzz, we're not going to talk about this too much. Buzz in the bag undoubtedly he's got a signature mm -hmm. buzz he's probably going to carry a couple of those like he did with uh different rocks and stuff um i'm sure we'll see a couple different stabilities of buzz so buzz in the bag for sure um absolutely 100 percent. i would be shocked if for some reason there wasn't yeah. a, a buzz in his bag especially with the signature series he's gonna have one in there so yep. next up we got the uh the buzz ss so kind of the understable complement to the buzz and uh, this is a tough one for me. We've seen a lot of the newer pros really loving the uh, newer runs of the Buzz SS coming out really flat, a little bit more stable maybe than some of the uh, runs in the past. But I do not think we see the Buzz SS in Paul's bag. I think he's going to throw, you know, a beat-in buzz or, you know, maybe just a little bit lighter buzz or something in its place just to kind of keep that consistency with the buzz mold across his bag. I think that you're right, and I think what's going to be really cool to see is in a few months how this new ESP plastic that we've been seeing coming out, this swirly plastic that's still kind of relatively new, I think, um, how it's beating in and kind of goes. So, yeah, I think we're yeah. going to we're gonna, we're gonna say no on the Buzz SS on nope. this one. No for me, too. Uh, next up, we have the Comet, and uh, this is a really interesting one to me. I, I think instead of the Buzz SS, I think we will see the Comet. Uh, we've seen MJ slay with these. We've seen a lot of... Uh, Discraft Pros in the past really uh, love the Comet, and I think that this is going to kind of be the understable mid-range in his bag. Paul's talked about, you know, kind of building his bag a little bit off of what he's seen other great Discraft Pros throw, and I am sure that he's seen Michael Johansson throw this thing enough times that uh, the Comet will be in his bag. The Comet, fantastic disc. Michael Johansson throws it a ton. He loves it, but I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to say Meteor. Oh, Flip okay. it around. I'm going to say that he rocks out the Meteor in this slot. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to have, uh, I feel like in my bag, when I've had, I've actually bagged both of them within the last year. Um, 
I got a little bit more consistent flight out of the Meteor. I really loved it for my understable shots. I loved being able to uh, throw it on a hyzer and not worry about accidentally torquing it over too much and ending up into a roller flight. It was a little more forgiving for me. So I hope you Meteor fans out there love that. Uh, one more debate here. Hashtag comment. Hashtag Meteor. Let us, let us know. Um, was this our last disc? That's it. Yep. Let's, uh, let's talk about it, obviously, a little bit more. Understable mid-range, these things are awesome. If you can get the beefier runs of it, they are like a buzz on steroids, pretty much. They just go have so much glide and such a great finish. I can't say enough about the com or about the meteor. About the comment. <laughs> about no, about the comment. I took I took the comment out of my bag at a tournament and I gave it to John Pallister. Oh, nice. I yeah, hit I a just, I, I hit I, a tree I, and I was so sad. Probably wasn't the comment's fault. Probably the tree. But John Pallister, <laughs> underground team. Shout out, buddy. I think between the two, you know, again, like I said, he's just, he talked about, you know, really watching other Discraft pros throw stuff. And uh, he really loved the Mantis in his last video. That's another mm -hmm. favorite of Michael Johansson. And uh, I think that, you know, MJ isn't known for his power, but is known for his consistency. And I think Paul is kind of a, a nice hybrid of both. So I definitely see Paul uh, choosing that comet over the meteor and choosing the drills. Uh, I think the rest we were, we were able to... Uh, agree on this time <laughs> so folks we wanted to make this video quick and easy for you so we didn't clutter it up with too much talk about the discs again all the flight numbers and more information available on discraft.com if you've enjoyed the video make sure that you uh, like it if you've enjoyed stuff that we've been putting out subscribe to the channel share it to your friends so that they can see as well and hit the notification bell and then obviously for 2019 most important thing Wes make that putt make that putt that is, that is my resolution. I hope that's some of your guys' resolutions as well. We're going to keep that going. That is that is the thing this year. We are all, all of us, we're all going to make that putt. Peace. Just make it. Just make it.